Right, so that was uh, Ellen's scenario. And as you saw, her barometer never went beyond like bright uh, green. And I don't know, uh, it seems like it's a bug. And I, I, haven't, I haven't been able to find anything, any guide uh, that indicates that you can get her to complete white. But if you, if you managed it, um, let me know. It would be nice to actually uh, know if it's possible or not. So, yeah. Benny, you know you've my favorite torture tool. Well, I'm giving you now the chance to stoop to new lows, to give in to your bestial desires. I'm going to let you find some food to eat. I'll even repair your brain so that you can think normally again and savor the horror of your repast. This cavern isn't like any of the others Am has sent me to. It's full of life, not death. Now, just do anything and Benny will just fall down. Am, you son of a bitch! You've cleared my mind but crippled my legs. I can barely walk. Alright, so now we walk to the caves. I haven't eaten for months. The smell of food cooking nearby only makes it hurt worse. And then go into the second cave and... Impressive. Someone important must live here. Just talk and talk to the elder and just look around uh, at everything in here. I can't understand his language, but he seems to be welcoming me to the village. And use the video screen as well hey, ignore the newcomer. to hear M. Gather the villagers at the altar tomorrow to choose a sacrifice. I have spoken. Right. Also look at the bag. A bag. Maybe there's food in it. Try and take it. Just, uh, I wouldn't know what to do with this even if I could take it. For funsies. No. All right. So let's leave this cave again. And uh, let's go to uh, this path. Which a fruit tree. Leads us to a fruit tree. It's been years since I've tasted real fruit. And M once coaxed me into marching across a thousand miles of ice to reach a stockpile of canned peaches. Only to discover that he didn't give me a can opener. Yeah, so Benny is very hungry, so he wants some uh, fruit. Let's try and eat it. Hurt, hurt, hurt. To f just to find out that he can't, because it's made of something weird, like electronics or so. So just go back here, and uh, notice that there's this, these bags of uh, baskets of uh, food up here. Um, I think in earlier iterations of the game you could. Well, never mind. You can actually go back here and get the food from here. So take the fruit, and if you if you if you can't find anything on the fruit tree, you can always just pull the twine, and another fruit will come down from there. Anyway, um, go into this cave. This looks like a what did they used to call them? Single parent household. Probably depend upon the generosity of the rest of the village. Friggin' welfare parasites. Right. So, despite his um, disregard or uh, disrespect for the family, give the fruit to the boy. Oh, thank you for food. He will talk to us. I am very hungry. Where can I get some food? There is fruit in Food Cave. It comes from the trees. Right. I tried eating the fruit. Just it exhaust only made me his, sick. Exhaust his style. When, when I was young and not so different, my mother chewed it for me first and then fed me. You look like you don't eat very much. Mother and I not allowed in food cave. The villagers are afraid of me and let me starve. How are we able to talk? I learned to talk using Am screen. I am smart, but villagers think smart is defective. I wish I were strong, so then they would give me food, too. Defective? That's tough. Sometimes. But I am spared lottery. Villagers are afraid of me. Lottery? What lottery? Villagers hold lottery to choose sacrifices to Am. How long have these sacrifices been going on? 
the sacrifice to Am Machine goes on many long years. The very different must go to him soon. Not many villagers left. Why do they sacrifice their own people to Am? One is sacrificed, so Am does not hurt all. What are these sacrifices like? The sacrifice to Am hurts very bad. There are better ways to die. Almost any way is better. I need to go find some food. I'll see you later. Right, so the boy actually told us what to do. Uh, we need to get another fruit. So that we can give it to the mother, so she can regurgitate it to us. And so we go back to the cave and just give the fruit to the mother. Amazing. This woman digested the food and then regurgitated it back to me, like a bird feeding its young. Right. And now we talk to the boy again and tell him that we're oh, tired. I am getting very tired. You now family. You use our bed. Go sleep. So he allows us to sleep here. Uh, the thing is, if you sleep before or before this, uh, you end up accelerating the the scenario too much and you can't really finish it right so you you you'll end up getting sacrificed on the altar yourself uh, and yeah so let's just use the bed now because now it's we're supposed to use it <sighs> oh, that sleep wasn't nearly long enough hmm I wonder where the boy's mother went Right, so she's gone. Uh, talk to the boy to ask him where she's gone. Where is your mother? She go to altar to help choose Am's sacrifice. Yeah, that's not good. I need to go find some food. I'll see you later. So let's go and watch this sacrifice. The village is quiet today. Too quiet. Why is everyone gathered around the altar? Yeah, why? Well, talk to the elder and ask him why. Ooh. Looks like some kind of lottery. That's the mutant child's mother. Right, so she was chosen. That's not good. Ooh. It looks like she's been chosen to be sacrificed. Yeah, so don't pick this one. Don't don't ask if you can eat her, because that will end the scenario. Uh, so just ask to watch the sacrifice. It sounds like he'll let me watch. I am Am the Great and Powerful. Uh, you didn't bring me Toto, but I accept the chosen. You shall not feel my wrath today, of my swelling Oh, Judas good Lord. Priest, Am blasted her to bits. What am I going to do for food now? Priorities. Uh, good to see you're thinking of others than yourself, Benny. There's burnt plastic and twisted metal where bits and pieces of the woman should be. Yeah, I wonder if they're going to bury the remains have to look at the debris and the junk. There's burnt plastic and twisted metal where bits and pieces of the woman should be. I wonder if they're going to bury the remains. Now, uh, so now we, we, we go back to the caves and we leave this area for now uh, to go explore some more outside here and go this way. And this we see graveyard gives me the creeps. There are a bunch of graves. I feel as though the dead could speak. Well, maybe they can. So you talk to them. You left me for dead in the field. The bullet in my brain came from your gun. So it seems like these are people that Benny has actually killed, which is no good. Uh, we have Benny has has to prove that he's a better human being now. So don't. Don't say yet that you've learned to be compassionate. Don't say it, because uh, they will not believe Benny. Don't don't take, pick any of the options telling that you've already learned, because you haven't. Just pick uh, the options that ask you, that ask the graves how you can be a 
proof that you're a different man. What can I do to prove that I am a different man? Give us proof of your newfound empathy. Right? If you if you do choose uh, the other options, uh, Benny will become my distraught. My duty was almost over. But because I knew your secret, you held my head under the paddy water until I drowned. Your secret died with me, and soon it will die with you. Don't pick this one, just what pick this one. What can I do to prove that I am a different man? Show us that you're able to think of someone other than yourself. Right. And then finally, talk to the last one. I tried to help Brickman, but you'd have none of that. If you couldn't carry your own weight, then you were worth more dead than alive, and anyone willing to carry some extra weight was a liability. Same story. What can I do to prove that I am a different man? Give us evidence that you have some sympathy for others. And uh, apparently it's possible to dig up the graves, uh, or attempt to at least. Um, don't do that. It'll end the scenario. Uh, so we go up here again to the caves. And we are going to talk to the boy. All right. So talk to him. And just uh I'm sorry. Talk. Your mother is dead. I know. Me sorry too. She only wants to care for me. Except you. Hmm. What will happen to you? No food. No safe from lottery. Either way, not good. No. Why don't you run away from here? Bad idea to run. Villagers hunt me down. Become sacrificed to Am Machine. Are the victims buried in the graveyard? I know nothing about graveyard. Right. I can't care for you. I have my own problems. You care. You may not do anything, but you care. Me no. I wish I could stop the lottery from taking place. Many villagers go to old man for ideas. Too bad he not friend. Look, I'll do what I can, but no promises. Thank you. I promise for you. So the boy told us that when the villagers need help, they go to the elder. So let's try and go to the elder. See, there's a problem here that uh, I, I'm not sh exactly sure how to make it happen, but sometimes when you enter the cave, the elder is gone. And when that happens, you can steal his bag. But right now he's here, so we need to leave the cave and the internet said you just have to go around a bit and check on him Looks sometimes. Like it's empty. So just check in here and use this video screen. Gather food. But don't give any of it to the deviant. He's not part of the community. Right, so leave the cave again. And let's check on... He's still there. Alright, so let's just go around doing stuff. Right, I will cut to... It's a goddamn supermarket! Whenever I figure it out, if it doesn't happen now. The village elder oh, must be out here we are. Food. Yes, so... Take the bag. I've experienced him actually coming back. Um, if you leave again when he's not here. I don't know if it's a one-time deal only. That if you don't do it uh, when you see it's empty that you've botched it but now we have it uh, and so we go back to the boy and show him that we have the lottery bag I don't think he under oh uh, well so tell him that you I stole, stole it. the lottery bag from the village elder you brave you have lottery bag but you must hide it or they find. Yes, so hide it. So we have to hide it near... So we have to hide it near the graves. Um, before we do that, just uh, take the twine. Ah, mana from heaven. Or pull it and take the fruit. Now we're gonna go down to the graves again. And now let's talk to them. 
and they will understand that we have actually changed. So tell them that you have the lottery I bag. I have the lottery bag. No more villagers will be sacrificed. Hmm. Show the lottery bag to Thomas. All right. And let's just talk to this one again. To be sure. I have the lottery bag. No more villagers will be sacrificed. Interesting. Thomas will want to see it. All right. So talk to Thomas. I have the lottery bag. No more villagers will be sacrificed. You prove that you're capable of caring for others, and that's worth something. Place the lottery bag into the earth. We will guard it. We forgive you for what you've done to us, but we can't speak for your most tragic victim. Rickman's grave is under those vines. All right, so we have to uh, remove those vines to find Brickman's grave. Here it is, Brickman's grave. Right, and then we talk to him. Hello, Commander. I'm not exactly happy to see you again. <sighs> yeah, I, I know. I last saw your face just before I got it right between the eyes. I stopped the lottery from happening. Doesn't that prove I now have compassion? You might have changed for the present, Commander, but you still have crimes in the past to account for. I don't exactly know if this one uh, does the same as if you had told the others that you were, had learned compassion. So don't pick it for now. What can I do to make amends to you, Brickman? You have to bury the past, Commander. Oh, like Gorister. I have something to plant on your grave. At last, some compassion. Now I can finally rest in peace. <laughs>